I believe that this decision really does open the way for Canada and uh, those who want to draw down this jurisdiction to move forward uh, in order to ensure that children are kept in their homes and in their communities and ultimately uh, Indigenous people have their right uh, of self-determination over their children. Uh, today's ruling is a landmark achievement and an example of Canada is meeting its commitments to both implementing the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People as well as responding to the 94 calls to action the Truth and Reconciliation Commission report. This is a historic step forward in advancing reconciliation. To uphold that inherent right, uh, to recognize the legitimacy of federal law, to uh, bolster that right and to, to place that right in Canadian law, I think is going to have tremendous impact across the country. I've been a witness of the signing of many coordination agreements and I can't think of a more moving event then when a community has completed their law, has completed the coordination agreement with the province and the federal government, and is, is, is resuming the care and control of their own child and family services and their own um, rights to take care of their children. Uh, there is, they are very emotional moments where families uh, of all different uh, stripes uh, gather together uh, in celebration and in mourning for what has been lost over I would say generations of people harmed in this way.